Okay. Y'all can see this, I hope. This is, whoop. This is uh, a little bit different mount, as you can see. It's actually my favorite. Uh, this one is the panoramic mount. Panoramic mount is, <coughs> excuse me, is easily 10 pounds lighter than the Gibraltar mount. This is a great mount for observing. It's very lightweight and it is very stable, as stable as the Gibraltar. This works well for the Telview 76. You see there in the tray I have my dust blower and always have my eyepiece case. Now, this is an easy setup for me, and I'll show you why. I can place it like that and I can pick this up no problem so if I leave it mounted in the house I can basically carry this out and have my entire kit ready to go in seconds okay no need to Remove it from its case. No need to play around. It's called a grab and grow. Go, excuse me. Ugh. A grab and go setup. So literally, there's no excuse for me not to go out and observe for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. Eye pieces are secured, plates secured. All right, I can pick the legs up easily. You track one leg. I know Telview says turn the turn it upside down, but I don't want to be a clown, so. I'm not going to do that, but you can see I am able, even in my deteriorated state, I had a heart transplant and things just aren't the way they used to be, but I can, I'm sorry, what am I doing? I can lower it. Come, sir. All right, can you see that? Let me show you. Okay, so she's ready to go. I can carry that in. Fits easily right through the door. No banging. Just got to make sure the dog's not in the way and that the path is clear. Next step is, is to bring in the air chair. I keep that inside. Actually, I keep all my equipment inside. I prefer that over uh, anything else. So, hang on just a second. Okay. Now, this is 
a mesh bag. It's lint free. It has holes in it. Okay. I can take it and drape it over the telescope as, as such. Now, I can leave it and carry it in like that. It's not a problem. It's a lightweight bag. Doesn't harm the telescope. So I'm all set. That's how I would that's how I would store it inside. Keep all the dust off the off the uh, telescope. So on and so forth. So it's a little tip. Uh, but picking it up and I mean I'm sorry, I would store it. This is inside out actually. This is okay by me because there's no seams in there. That's the way I like it. Nothing to catch it on. So, I'm going to show you. Go ahead and grab it like this. Keep all the... And there you go. And off we go. It'll take me about 30 seconds to bring it in the house. And everything is done. Piece of cake. So I guess if you're interested in a grab-and-go scope, high-quality, small one, this is the way to go. Have a good day.